welcome to another vlog. So today, Jacob and I are going on a mini vacation, but it's sort of like a staycation because we're staying in a hotel in Stockholm. So it's in the middle of Ostem, I'm sorry, and now we just got here. So I decided I'll take you guys with us in our mini trip. So let's go ahead and start this vlog. Jacob and I are here at Villa Dagmar and we've decided to book here just because we felt like we wanted to do something more you know, upbeat. We're in the middle of the city, we're gonna have dinner, we're gonna go around the streets of Stockholm and basically yeah just have a couple of nights here, do some spa maybe, a few sightseeing around town, maybe in a museum but um, otherwise just a lot of like chilling and it's just gonna be me and him so Alexi is with the grandparents so we can have our own time so now we're gonna go into the room the rooms here are super beautiful I'm so excited to see which room we got so oh oh my god wow looks so nice I think this is called the deluxe Superior room? Oh, what did you say? Oh, the balcony something. Yeah. So anyway, we... Yeah, we have a balcony and we have a beautiful pub. The room looks pretty nice actually. Let me show you around. Ooh, candy. So I just checked and this room is called the Deluxe Balcony Room. It's so beautiful. We also get our own robes and slippers. Hi little mirror here. How do you like the room so far? Super nice. Love it. I want to check out the balcony. Yeah, maybe we should do that. So this is our balcony. We should order some champagne. So now we're pretty much settled in. I honestly want to try the bed, but I'm super, super, super scared to ruin this super nice bedding. It's so beautiful. I don't think I've stayed in an, any better room in this quality and this level and honestly the best part is the bathroom this tub oh my god what's the best part for you jacob the I candy like right that you get to wash your hands right now <laughs> yes yeah, so we're gonna go out and eat some lunch actually we haven't decided where so we're gonna do that and plan and i'll see you guys soon oh it's the balcony okay so his favorite is the balcony so we're about to head out and eat some lunch I actually don't know where we're gonna eat, Jacob. You know where? No. We're just gonna find somewhere here. Um, if we don't find anywhere around the area, maybe we'll have lunch exactly here. Okay. at the restaurant we we're basically in uh, like an outdoor seating place and the restaurant is called Bap and we're just gonna have like burgers and fries and uh, have some drinks maybe after before we go around
there's a little jump in time because right now we got super late with a lot of chilling in the hotel and now we're about to head to our dinner booking we're eating at head tonight and it's our first time in this restaurant so we shall see how exciting this will be like it so far. actually from there because we were sitting right beside like a couple on our left and a couple on our right so it was a really that home comfy to film um, so the dinner there was really amazing I don't think I've ever tried that much of great food in a long time like honestly it was really really delicious I feel like it's really worth visiting if you're coming to Stockholm or if you live in Stockholm and you want to try Ted go ahead and do it it's really 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 worth it um, just make sure to book a table because they're always fully booked and even we booked a table a long time ago I was on wait list we got a table eventually but when we got there there was still a line so it's pretty bad with people so just make sure to get reservations um, and now we're not in tent anymore we've transferred to the hotel we're here in Villa Dagmar again and we're just having a nightcap and actually we're about to close soon and we're just finishing up and we will head back home to our hotel so. Which is <laughs> up there somewhere. Yeah. So that's it for tonight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So now it's day two of our new vacation, and we're headed for breakfast. It's almost nine o'clock, and yeah, and the elevator is here. And we're just gonna go and eat, and then go back to the room, prepare everything, and then we're gonna head out. So now we're here at the breakfast table and basically I just ordered a bacon and egg toast and Jacob did some similar and also some um, cereal. Uh, right now we're doing like a sit down breakfast because I think they're trying to avoid to have a buffet during like this time but otherwise I think it's pretty cozy. We have a lot of different selection of bread as well. So. So we're finally back at our room and we're prepping for our day today and basically it has been super chill. I'm supposed to be getting ready but here I am filming. Um, yeah, the breakfast was really great. It was super calm and you didn't have to stress about like getting so much food and the food was actually really amazing. And so we've decided to basically uh, um, go to Vasa Museet and it's like uh, like a museum where they picked up an old ship we're just gonna look at that i haven't been to a lot of museums in sweden and we thought that since we're here it's a good time to do that um, 
yeah so it's not gonna be a super long day for us we're just gonna basically after the museum we're just gonna go around maybe have some fika somewhere we've had a lot of food for breakfast so i don't think there's gonna be any lunch if there's anything it would be a light meal uh, and then tonight we're gonna meet up with our friends so far the hotel has been super amazing um we had a good night's sleep actually super quiet it was super dark so we actually overslept a little bit we set the alarm but still we woke up a little bit um late so now i'm just basically gonna do my makeup and start prepping before we head out Just in my feeling the out of the country vibes, even if we're not. Hey. This ship is Gustav, like the old king's ship, and it sunk in 1628. And after 333 years under water, they've basically lifted it up. And right now, it says it is the most preserved, the 1600 kind of ship. 98% of this is the original parts that they had. So fuck. So apparently this is how the original ship looked like. It's pretty damn cool. So it was in 1961. 61, they they took up took it up. They started the, the works in exactly. like 57. Yeah. And we're heading out. We are pretty much satisfied checking out the whole ship and everything that's happened during the time. We're gonna go and find some place to eat lunch. Jacob's at the bar ordering. So we're now here at the tiny little cafe basically one of our favorite spots to go to. When my parents were here, we took them here as well. This is just right beside the water. It's very close to the museum. And right now we're just uh, grabbing a quick drink before we head out for lunch. And we're both having after all sprints actually, so. <laughs> and here, um, these are restaurants that, you know, take boats. And so you, if you have a boat, you can park your boat if um, they have like an open parking space. Stockholm thing to do when it's summertime. So now we're headed to lunch. We're gonna eat at our favorite uh, Vietnamese restaurant and uh, actually got a little zapped with <laughs> Aperol spritz. I feel quite tipsy, honestly. 
after two bite. zips. No, no, what? It wasn't that much. Yeah, but I haven't had lunch, so now we're walking in the middle of uh, Strandbygam. Yeah. Strandbygam. I never had that. <laughs> Strandbergen. Strandbergen. Sorry, Strandbergen. And um, yeah, it's late as you make. We're walking through Humlegården. It's actually one of the most popular parks here in Sofia. A lot of people come here to hang out, have a picnic, get a tan. Um, get drunk. Get drunk. Yes, we're heading to our lunch spot. The only thing we do is head to eating place. Drink. Sleep, Sleep. repeat. What did you think of the museum? Was it good? Yeah, it was, it was nice. I thought I haven't been there since I was a kid. You've been there when you were young? Yeah. I actually really thought it was pretty like, cool to see something super majestic or historical, I guess. We actually, when we were about to head out the door, we found out that they were showing like a short film about like how the whole ship was lifted from the water, what happened during that time. It was pretty nice. Like, as a Stockholm, it feels like it's only now that I've been experiencing all these things, which in general you should have done in the beginning, you know. But you never become like real tourists in your own town when you first come here, so. We're gonna do the boy. No, but we can try a little bit. Is it? You don't have to do it. Off to dinner. So we're basically eating just here at the restaurant. We booked the table, so it's gonna be um, basically Jacob and I. I think you just do like drinks. Um, just a light dinner and drinks. Dinner is served. This is like tapas, tuna, ceviche, and this dish is called montadito on toast. Taking the wrong way though. Here. <laughs> I'm over there. Like Just three. some uh, oh. random tanks down there. Yeah, no. There's an army in the Yeah, I know. Oh. It was a joke. Venster. Watch it. Cobblestones. Oh, nice. That's Där, rakt fram. Vad är det där? Mm. Good morning. <laughs> um, so we overslept and last night we came home really late, slept really late and now we're extremely late for breakfast. Breakfast closes at 10 and it's 9.05. Last night we had so much fun with our friends. One of my close friends here and they live 
um, close by, so we decided to ask them out if they wanted to go for drinks. <laughs> So we're gonna go and eat that. Yes. When you speak. How's the food? Mother sesame salad, three by salad. Oh my god. Wow. So basically it is time for us to check out. We have had like three wonderful days here in Stockholm and it's about 1 p.m. Check out is normally at 12 o'clock but we got an opportunity to check out an hour later. And our day isn't really at the end yet. We're gonna go and get a massage um, but basically we're gonna check out here. We'll leave our bags and come back um, for them later. So last night has been uh, really exhausting, but also extremely fun. I've had a lot of drinks. I actually didn't get to vlog so much last night just because it was, we were really, you know, just enjoying the quality time that we had for ourselves with our friends and, you know, enjoying our last night. Our stay here has been really amazing and I wish it's not over, but at the end of the day, I really miss Alexi so much already. We keep talking about him like all the time before we go to bed, when we wake up, when we're eating. So it's quite funny that sometimes you feel like you need a vacation because you're extremely exhausted. But the moment that you're away from your baby, it's like all you want is to be with him. Um, I guess it's um, like a typical parent instinct. But yeah, this has been really well, you know, needed for us. I feel like we both deserve it. It's been a rough year. So I really hope that you guys like this vlog as much as I enjoyed filming it. And I'm really thankful to my friend Maria who has given us like the best time here at Villa Dagmar. By the way, this is not a sponsored post in any way. We paid for our stay here. I'm just really like giving a good review just because we enjoyed our stay. It was a really um, cozy time for us. So anyway, enough with all the talking. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much if you've reached the end of this vlog and I really, really hope that you keep supporting my YouTube. If you haven't followed me or if you haven't subscribed me here, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the like button if you do like this video and I hope to see you guys on my next one. Bye!